everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live. This is a special Facebook Live for me, but let's get to uh, the uh, uh, I'm, let's get to the uh, <laughs> the information first. Uh, this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm Jeff Palmer. I am the founder and CEO of Clean Machine Plant-Based Fitness Nutrition. Yes, happy birthday to me. I am 60 today. Strong over 60. Yeah, still strong over 60. It's a it's a bittersweet um, day for me. Obviously, I'm enjoying my health and my fitness level, even at 60. But as I look back at my 60 years, I am uh, reminded that I have made it to 60 and no one else in my family did so far. Both my brothers and my father and my mother were all dead by the age of 60. And here I am turning 60. I'm in great physical health, loving life, loving my wife, loving doing what I do, knowing I've got hopefully many years ahead of me to continue to do what I love, which is helping people get healthy and fit and enjoy their lives to the fullest. But I'm reminded of how many people, including almost everyone in my family, who died too early. And it's a reminder to me of why I do what I do. Um, yes, we all have to do something to make money, to pay bills and things. But if we can uh, do something with that, that really helps other people improve their quality of life, not just their length of life. You know, my, my mother suffered for decades before she passed. Um, I, I, I've seen the death process with everyone in my family, and it's, it's, it's something that I'd hope other people don't go through. So it's why I do what I do. That's why I'm so passionate about health, nutrition, plant-based diet, and physical fitness, because I know they can make such a huge difference. It's why I share information like this wonderful study that I just got today. This came out January 9th, <clears throat> 2023. This study is called All Good and put it up on the screen for you. It's in the comments section, but I'll put it up in the screen right below. Uh, the study is called Almond Intake Alters the Acute Plasma Dihome, which is a um, the short name for this particular fatty acid in response to eccentric exercise, eccentric meaning uh, standard weightlifting. Okay, so what the study did was take uh, 38 men and 26 women. So it was both men and women, which is great. It's a small group, but still important. And they did it from the ages of 30 to 65. So they looked at a, Britain, a really nice broad spectrum of age groups. So both genders, all, almost all the major age groups from 30 plus. And for those who did not weight train, because you get a more pronounced effect if you take somebody who doesn't regularly weight train and then make them weight train, you have more soreness. Just like anybody, if you remember starting out working out, when you first start out, and you do some uh, uh, weight training, you can get really sore. Now, a lot of people find this really difficult because they get discouraged. They're like, oh, I got too sore working out. Well, of course, you got to keep working out. And then that soreness recedes and recedes, and unless you get really intense into your workouts, and then you get some regular soreness, especially in the legs. Legs are a big muscle groups, so they have a tendency to, to produce more muscle soreness, delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS. So <clears throat> this was an interesting study. Um, the participants were split into two groups and one group got almonds and the other group did not. Now you're thinking, okay, well, how can they make uh, almonds a placebo group? Either eating almonds or not. How, how could they make it placebo controlled? Um, and the interesting thing is they gave them a, a bar and some of the bars had 
almonds in them and some of them did not. So how much almonds? And that's how they could make it disguised. So nobody knew that they were getting anything different. Everybody got a bar, uh, what typical protein bar, but one had almonds in it, one didn't. Okay, so in the groups, they had about 57 grams of almonds a day. Now, that sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's about a quarter cup or a small little fist size, maybe probably nine or 10 almonds twice a day. So it's a decent size of nuts. <clears throat> and one of the interesting things in the study that they pointed out was that they looked at the effects of these particular fatty acids called dihome for short, dihydro um, octa decanoic acid to be specific. It's a fatty acid that the body produces to help recovery. So having more of this fatty acid present will help accelerate metabolism as well as muscle recovery and um, aid in the process of recovering the muscle to full strength again. So there is a sister molecule that, that is in this um, called 910-dihome, uh, which is actually a mildly toxic form of the fatty acid. So that's the bad fatty acid, the 910. And then the regular dihome is the good fatty acid that is anti-inflammatory, pro-inflammatory on the 910-dihome and uh, anti-inflammatory on that. So you want after your workout, generally more of that, that pro-inflammatory um, goes up and then uh, the uh, other one goes down. So you want more of the good fat, less of the bad fat present to help accelerate um, the recovery process. Well, this is what they found. They found when they gave these people um, half in the morning, half in the afternoon after their workout, they found that those who were taking the whole almonds, um, now there's this whole almond, so that's an important piece and I'll explain that in a second. But the almond group had a 70% higher beneficial fat post-workout. On the flip side, those who didn't eat almonds had a 40% higher of the bad fat, the toxic fat. So the almonds actually reduce the toxic fat 40% less than the, than the group that didn't eat almonds and increase the good fat 70% higher than those who didn't eat almonds. So you have a reduction of 40% of the bad fat and an increase of 70% of the good fat. That ratio really expands when you go both in both directions, getting lowering the bad fat, the fat that is pro-inflammatory and damaging and mildly toxic, and increasing the good fat, which accelerates metabolism, helps your body utilize the nutrients that you consume better so that you can recover more fully. And they found that it reduced inflammation, it reduced oxidative stress on the muscle, and accelerated the recovery of the muscle. They had less muscle soreness and recovered to full strength faster just by simply eating some almonds before and after your workout. Now, that's pretty amazing. So here's one of the ways that I found that I enjoy doing that. <clears throat> one of the easiest ways is to take uh, almond butter. Now, you got to make sure it's whole al almond butter using the whole almonds because the secret ingredient they found is not just the almonds itself, but the skin around the almonds. So really important to you, make sure you're getting whole almonds in the consumption because the skin contains powerful polyphenols that they think the researchers postulate are the ones that are exciting or increasing the overall benefits of this good fat versus bad fat. So get whole almonds. Now, here's a neat trick. Just get whole almonds, put it in a glass of water, six, eight ounce glass of water, and let them soak there. This activates the enzymes, makes them much more digestible. Sit them in the, in the fridge overnight. In the morning when you wake up, blend that up, maybe throw a couple dates in there too, and you have almond milk, real almond milk, not the commercial crap that you buy in the stores. I don't even think they should really call that almond milk. There's about 1% almonds <laughs> in almond milk. It's more almond flavoring almost. It's, it's mostly sugar water. Um, 
So get real almond milk. And it's super simple to do. If you have a Nutribullet or something like that, you just throw that with the water in there, blend it up until it's smooth. Make sure it gets it really blended finely. You soak those almonds and dates, the dates for sweetener um, and the almonds for the almond milk. And you can make your own fresh almond milk in minutes um, just by remembering to put them in a glass of water and put them in the fridge overnight. Uh, another great way to eat almonds is almond almond butter on your bread. It's making an almond butter and jelly sandwich or an almond butter and banana sandwich. Um, one of my favorites is take slices of banana, put them on the almond butter, and then sprinkle cinnamon over it. Awesome. So great post-workout. You can have that uh, smoothie as your almond milk base uh, for your pre-workout shake have an almond butter sandwich uh, for post-workout, or just simply eating the almonds, munching on it as a snack during the day uh, while you're sitting in front of the TV or the computer. Super simple, super easy, and super good for you. So, you know, some people say, oh, you know, almonds are high in fat, they'll cause that. Look, let's look at the health benefits. Don't be as concerned about these the fat, don't be fat feared into avoiding foods that could be really helpful for you. And in this case, help you with your workouts, help you with recovery and help you with brain health, joint health and other things by reducing this inflammation, reducing the oxidative stress that happens when you work out. When you work out, you create ROS or radical oxygen species. These are create the oxidative stress on tissues. Oxygen is, is what causes rust, what causes fire. Oxygen feeds the molecules that burn. Oxidative, burning fat is, is actually oxygen coming in contact with fat and oxidizing. It's called lipid oxidation or fat burning. In oxygen coming in contact with metals called rust. Rust is another burning or oxidizing. Uh, with wood, it's called fire. With fat, it's called fat burning or lipid oxidation. So it's that oxygen, that free radical oxygen that is corrosive to the, uh, to the uh, surface of cells. And that's why we should have a diet that's high in antioxidants. And it appears these almond skins are so rich in polyphenols, which can be powerful antioxidants that they can prove beneficial to your workouts. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll bring more studies as they come. I've got some really cool studies on omega-3 that are, are going to be really a game changer uh, about omega-3s and cancer, believe it or not, and why plant-based omega-3s had it right all along once again. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy healthy aging just as much as I do. Share this, give it a thumbs up if you like it. You can always watch these videos on YouTube at Clean Machine Online, as well as on our Facebook and uh, page at Clean Machine Fit. Thank you. Have a happy, healthy new year.